What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I'm very happy to be making this video. I honestly didn't think I would be. Uh, Apple's been making it so hard for us. But in this video, I'm gonna show you guys an updated method on how to jailbreak your iOS 9.3.3 device down from 9.2 to 9.3.3, whatever the firmware, without a computer, again. So this is an updated version of the old guide. Uh, the steps have changed just a little bit, but it is so ridiculously easy to jailbreak right now. And I'm gonna clarify a couple things with you, but just so you know, this is the one year method. So this jailbreak will last exactly one year from the time you uh, do it right now. You don't need a computer and it is ridiculously simple. So let's go ahead and jailbreak your device. Now, which devices are supported? So if you have an iPhone 5S and above, the 5C, iPhone 5, and 4S are not supported just yet. As for iPads, the iPad mini 2, 3, and 4 are supported and the iPad Air and above are supported. So if you have the iPad 4 and below, sorry, but you guys are out of luck. And the iPod Touch 6th generation is the only one that can do this. So uh, yeah, all you guys need is an internet connection for the first part of this video. You don't need to be connected to the internet for anything else jailbreak related, just for installing the jailbreak. And I have to tell you guys, this is a semi-tethered jailbreak. So if your battery dies or you restart your device, none of your tweaks will work. So for example, I have this theme enabled, it will be disabled until I jump into this app and I'm gonna walk you guys through. It's very simple, it takes like 20 seconds max uh, to re-jailbreak your device, but it's very, very simple. So uh, let's go ahead and run the jailbreak. All right, so I've got an iPhone 6S Plus right here, completely stock, unjailbroken. Let's go ahead and run this latest jailbreak. So on your uh, Safari browser, go ahead and go to onlinejailbreak.com. You have to be using Safari, don't do anything like Chrome or anything like that. So onlinejailbreak.com, it's as simple as that. You know, like a month ago, I would have thought this was a scam, but believe it or not, this is the working deal. So very similar to my last method that I did show you guys, we're gonna go ahead and click install right here. It will ask you to go ahead and install the PP jailbreak app. So it's gonna be on our springboard right now. Here's a catch. We have to put our device into airplane mode before it finishes installing. So if you guys have cellular, if you're on Wi-Fi, we wanna completely disconnect the connection before this finishes installing. So as soon as it says installing instead of loading right here, we need to pop into airplane mode. So I'm just gonna keep this right here, kind of at the ready, because it is a very, very short amount of time that you get before uh, you have to redo the process. And it's okay, you guys can redo this however many times you need, but in a minute here, as soon as it's past the halfway point, it's gonna say installing, and I'm gonna flip it into airplane mode. Very interesting, but it still does work 100%. I can guarantee you, I've tried it many times. So literally right now, okay, pop it into airplane mode, and if you did it right, if you timed it right, it will install. Now, if you guys didn't time it right, the app will be grayed out and it will say done or retry. You need to delete the app completely, go back in and reinstall it using that button right there. So, and then you wanna go ahead and pop it into airplane mode again. You can't click retry from here as that will not work. If you don't get it the first time, delete it and try again. Okay, everyone else should have it. You can go ahead and reconnect to the internet. And if we try and open that, it'll say untrusted developers. So uh, we need to go into settings, go to general, scroll down to device management and go in here and trust this source right here. So it will say trusted and we know it is the one year certificate. Uh, I know a lot of people won't know what I'm talking about, but basically the Beijing Hongwan online technology enterprise this profile means a jailbreak will last for one year. We didn't sign in with our Apple ID or anything, and we can go ahead and open this up. So once we're in here, make sure to say yes to notifications. No, it won't send you notifications as part of the jailbreak. Click on the big circle. Stay on this screen for about 10 to 15 seconds. I found that it does help with the success of the jailbreak. And uh, let's go ahead and lock our device. Now, if you guys aren't on iOS 9.3.3, for whatever reason, you should be. Update right now. But uh, anyways, you'll notice that it is on this screen. It's gonna give this text. Don't do anything. Don't click any buttons, just leave it. It takes about one to two minutes and your device will restart. After it's done, you will see Cydia. You'll have the whole jailbreak running on your device. So don't click anything, it will restart automatically. And as I was saying, if you guys are on 9.3, 9.2.1, anything lower, like 9.3.1 even, just update, go to 9.3.3. There is no reason for you to sit on an older firmware because this is the latest stable release. You'll have all the latest fixes and a jailbreak. So after it's done, we can slide over and boom, 
Cydia is installed once again, the no computer method is still working. That is amazing. So this should continue to work. There is no reason for this to stop working just because we're not officially installing it. We glitched our device with the airplane mode method and uh, it'll go ahead and install the PP jailbreak regardless. So open up Cydia and you guys are golden. So there is one thing in here that we need to do just as soon as it does finish refreshing, reloading the data, we need to go ahead and install Apple File Conduit. So go ahead and search for Apple File and you wanna install File Conduit 2 and go ahead and install it. This is 100% important. This allows for your device to go into safe mode and that is absolutely necessary. So make sure you install this. This needs to be the first thing you install using this jailbreak. So we're gonna restart the springboard and in a minute here, we will be completely done. You guys can go ahead and begin installing tweaks, themes, all that good stuff. And I have lots of videos for those on my channel if you guys were curious about that. But yeah, there it is, the updated guide on how to jailbreak without a computer on 9.3.3. That is so awesome, guys. And before I forget to mention this, so you restart your device or your battery dies, you will notice that Cydia crashes. It will not open. Your tweaks will not be active. Your themes will not be active. That's because every time you restart your device or your battery dies, you need to open up this app right here. Inside, you need to go ahead and click on the circle, wait for about like 10 to 15 seconds inside of here and then lock your device. So it will begin to re-jailbreak the device and it's something you have to do every time that happens, your battery dies, but hey, no big deal. Takes like 20 to 30 seconds max and you guys are back in the game. So no problem, but just thought you guys should know if stuff does crash, that is why. And I just wanna say that sometimes it takes two tries or more. So I've never had it take three tries, but sometimes many times in a row, the first time doesn't work, you need to go back and redo it and it works the second time. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is for some people. So after respringing, my Cydia will now work. So enjoy the jailbreak, guys. Be sure to check out some of my tweaks and theme videos. I will have many more coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. Have a great day, peace.